Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today is Monday, which means it's time for an episode of Loadout, the series where you guys, the viewers, get to pick a gun and customization for me to use. The way you do this is you leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to run with, and I will pick one of the top rated comments for the next episode. Today's top comment comes from Samuel McGreal. He says, the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Loadout. We have the primary as the AKM, which is representing the AK-12 from Call of Duty, the iron sight suppressor, and folding grip. Use the gold cam if you have it. Unfortunately I didn't but I was using the bronze camo and a few other camos throughout the loadout. Secondary is the P226. We have the iron sights and heavy barrel on that. Gadget 1 is med bag. Gadget 2 is grappling gun and stunt driver. Samuel says here I'm trying to replicate a common loadout you see in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. The AK-12 is a powerhouse if used correctly in Advanced Warfare and it will be interesting to see if its ability will transfer over to Hardline. And I have to say seeing a classic AK style assault rifle with wood furniture making its way into a battlefield game is a really really refreshing thing to say and fortunately the AKM is actually a very good gun in hardline does it compare to the M416 or M16A3? Maybe. It's got some pros and cons. My favorite thing about this weapon is that it actually maintains good damage at further ranges. It drops off to 25, which means you're always going to be foreshotting somebody with this weapon. And the fact that it's got a 30 round magazine means your range potential with this gun is pretty effective. Even while the suppressor is on it from this loadout, I was enjoying it a ton. Now the suppressor looks badass on the AK. What they've done in Hardline is rather than using a standard suppressor, suppressor for every single gun in the game, each weapon kind of has its own custom suppressor that complements the look of the weapon, and I think the one that goes on the AK looks really cool. It also adapts some of the cooler metallic camos once you apply them to the weapon. Now obviously I'm using the iron sights here because of the loadout itself. Traditionally I would be using a red dot sight, probably the cobra sight on this gun, but I have to say the iron sights are not too bad with this weapon. They do make it a little bit tricky to hit further range targets or aim for the head because the size of the weapon and its proximity to the actual iron sights makes it a little bit hard to track targets. That being said, the suppressor usually kept my location concealed long enough that even if my aim wasn't that great with the iron sights, most people wouldn't know where I was shooting them from and I would have the advantage regardless. Now thank god this loadout has the angled grip as one of the attachments. I did have to unlock it during the course of recording for this loadout, so I wasn't always getting the benefits for this weapon, but once I got that angled grip unlocked, it made all the difference in the world. The first shot recoil on the AKM is three times. That is so much higher than any of the follow-up shots and what it does is it throws off your second shot a bit in all your follow-up shots so it becomes harder to be precise with this weapon without the angle grip. I think that's pretty much a must have attachment for the AKM. And man does the AKM really just look so awesome with different kinds of camo on it. I think this is one gun that really just stylizes well because it's got that wood furniture yet when you put sort of a modern camo on it it's just got this awesome aesthetic look to it. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I love the way that AKs look. Now let's talk about the big difference between this assault rifle and some of the other assault rifles in the game. This one shoots slow, but it hits hard. It's got a max damage of 36, which means you're going to be able to easily three shot a target in close quarters. At range, it dips off to around 25. They were talking about lowering the damage to 24 in an upcoming patch. Hopefully they don't do that because I think it's already a little bit underclass compared to the other assault rifles out there, but it's a very hard hitting AR it makes good use of the ammo capacity and so you should be able to take down a lot of targets provided you've got the accuracy to back it up. Now of course to offset the damage model has a much slower rate of fire 600 rounds per minute but you really don't notice it too much even in close quarters because your damage is so high with this gun. You could put an extended mag on this I don't know if this gun really needs it the extended magazine does reduce your accuracy while you're moving around so that's something that you have to consider if you want those five rounds versus the reduced moving accuracy. I would say you don't really need it because the rate of fire on this weapon is so slow and you have a 30 round magazine to begin with that you're probably not going to see too many situations in which you bleed this magazine dry and have to hit that long reload time. If you do hit that long reload though it is 3.37 seconds so it's definitely on the longer side. Now generally the performance of this weapon is top notch. If you've got the AKM and you've got it outfitted correctly that is with the angled grip and pretty much whatever else you want on this gun 
then you are going to be rocking it. This thing does so much damage. The suppressor is actually a lot of fun. Uh, it's surprising just how insanely effective the suppressor is at keeping you off that minimap in TDM style scenarios. It's incredibly useful, probably less so maybe in heist game modes or modes where you're surrounded by your teammates a lot. So the suppressor and your minimap stealthness isn't really that valuable. It does have a 580 meter per second muzzle velocity, which makes it decent for hitting long range targets. And when you put the suppressor on there it's going to reduce uh, your ability to hit moving targets I definitely saw that while playing with this gun for a bit and it actually made me stop shooting at longer range targets uh, frankly that was a combination of just having iron sights in the suppressor I felt that really reduced my effectiveness at hitting those long range targets so I just kind of stopped and tried to get in a little bit closer quarters however if you didn't have that suppressor and you had a red dot sight on there or even a magnified sight you could be so so much more effective with this weapon at range now perhaps one day I'll unlock the gold camo for this weapon. It is a thousand kills, which is kind of crazy. Uh, it's funny to think about now that you only need a hundred kills pretty much with any weapon before you can unlock all the attachments that you want for it. But you need a thousand kills to get the gold camo and then 1,250 kills to unlock it for both sides. So there's definitely some steep unlock requirements for the guns in this game. However, there are fewer guns, significantly fewer guns in Hardline than there were in say BF4, so perhaps getting to those higher kill counts will be more applicable. As for actually getting lots of kills in a timely manner, Team Deathmatch seems to work the best so far. There are a few maps on Blood Money that are just crazy bloodbaths of infantry carnage, but Team Deathmatch is consistently a good way to get lots of kills in this game, and I recommend that. However, it's definitely not one of the top point earners in this game, so if cash is your ultimate objective, TDM is not the way to go. I would say Hotwire or Blood Money. As for the performance of this loadout it was incredibly effective in team deathmatch and some of the more objective oriented game modes where I'm fighting it for their distances. I might have not liked it as much but TDM it was perfect aside from the lack of red dot sights but you do maintain that cool AKM look. Don't forget to leave your comments for next week's episode of Loda. I am still really enjoying Hardline which is why I picked a Hardline comment for this week's episode but you can leave comments for both BF4 and Hardline and I will pick one of the top rated comments. As always guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next time this is level cap signing off <laughs>